anybody that's in recovery isn't gonna like this but whatever eat a dick fuck it um eat that cock baby eat it swallow the whole fucking swallow thing. it lick it put it on a plate eat it again shit it out <laughs> <laughs> so i saw a documentary years ago about ayahuasca and i always wanted to do it because they use it to cure heroin addiction mm. uh, to cure cure heroin addiction um so a little over a year ago uh a friend of mine that's a client who suffers from ptsd really bad from from the war uh told me that he was doing ayahuasca and i was like fuck where do you do it like i've had the opportunity but it just never felt right mm. with him I, it felt right and he introduced me to somebody um and him and i the 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 facilitator and i started talking and it turned out he doesn't do ayahuasca he does bufo which is the strongest hallucinogen on the planet it is is that dmt or it's dmt on steroids dmt on steroids. so it's five meo dmt so the difference between dmt and this is this has an oxygen molecule that mm. breaks the it just busts through the blood brain barrier so it's instant uh but when you it's the poison from sonora desert toad so they milk the toad put it on a sheet of glass, let it uh, crystallize, yeah, you, end, you smoke it. yeah. And when you smoke it, it's like being shot out of a fucking cannon. You have no control. Like I experience, I am not afraid to die. I experienced death with this because I was, when I went in, I was like, oh, I can do this. It's gonna be great. Like I'm, I can, I'm ready to surrender. Hell no, wow. I wasn't. I held on and it was whatever. It was just fucking horrible. So you felt your, your ego exploding in a way that you haven't felt before at an intensity you haven't felt before yeah just unimaginable it was sheer terror and it was white noise everything i was seeing was really sharp and it could have lasted a fraction of a second it could have lasted 10 minutes i don't know how long it was mm. but i remember hearing clear as day in my head relax and let go and as soon as i heard let go i like let my breath go and it was just like being shot down a tunnel of lights it was so did it bizarre. feel like an actual voice talking to you or yes. did it feel like an internal monologue it was it was a voice, it was a voice yeah they call it the god molecule relax and let go yep uh i've learned a lot through bufo but to to, to just touch on what we were talking about yeah. that the obsession of drugs and alcohol was lifted for the first time in in my years of being clean and relapsing and getting clean mm. and for the first time the obsession is lifted i no longer if it's a nice day is it a good day to get high if it's a bad day it's no longer a good day to get high mm. i don't even think about it until i talk and when i talk about it it's just like a story it's yeah it's not real anymore 